Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we'll be taking a look at Titan's Return Deluxe Decepticon Quake and Chasm, which is the name of his little Titan Master partner down here. Uh, as you can probably tell, this is a repaint slash remold of Hardhead from Wave 1. Unfortunately, well not super unfortunately, but both of the Decepticons in Wave 4 are repaints of Wave 1 uh, mold. So Quake is a repaint slash retool of Hardhead, and Croc is a, I believe, just straight repaint, the head might be different, of Skull Cruncher, or Skull Smasher, whatever they had to call him. But I think the colors look good. In G1, Quake was a uh, Decepticon Junior Target Master. Obviously here he is just a Titan Master, with the small head master guy down here. Um, but it makes sense. I mean, Quake was a tank in G1, so they decided to reuse the tank mold, and they decided to make him Quake. But like I said, I think it looks pretty good. I like the colors for him, so I'm very interested to take a closer look at this guy. Um, reading the description real quick on the back, Decepticons unite with Titan Master Partners to power up for battle. That's pretty much a standard sentence for every Decepticon. It says, Chasm opens portals that displace enemies and objects. Decepticon Quake can unleash his seismic attacks and use the power of Chasm to swallow Autobots into a teleportation abyss. So look out for that. That sounds dangerous. In any case, I'm very excited to get this guy out of the packaging, so let's do so and we'll take a closer look. Alright, so taking a look at Quake out of the packaging, this is everything he comes with. We'll take a quick look at the card. Pretty nice artwork there, I have to say. I like the look of that. Flip it around, you can see, even with the Titan Master, uh, firepower still his highest attribute, then strength, speed, brain power being the least. But they're the usual nice, hard, thick cardboard cards, easily collectible, very nice. So put that off to the side. Comes with a kind of standard gun in this gunmetal gray color, which is one of his primary colors. His color scheme is primarily uh, gunmetal gray, kind of maroon, and a dark blue. But it works. It was the same color scheme for G1 Quake. He looks pretty excellent if we get in close here. I love the head sculpt. Did a great job with that. I like these uh, Decepticon logos. And I believe that's paint. That's not stickers. I don't believe. I believe that's paint. I like the lightning bolt with the Decepticon symbol. That looks really cool. I'm going to pop the Titan Master off so we can take a closer look at that. Again, like I said, love that head sculpt. Really nice job. Nice paint, the red eyes. You can actually see them. Doesn't have like a large brow overshadowing them, which is nice for a change. Uh, nice bit of detail. Pretty much all gunmetal gray, but a little bit of navy blue there in the middle. But overall, not a bad Titan Master. Very cool. He's got this cannon on the back that you can bring up like that. You can even kind of angle it to the side a little bit so you can hit, fit the head back in here. Oops. There we go. It's a little tight. But yeah, he looks great. Articulation wise, head can of course swivel from side to side because it's on ball joint. can also rock back and forth. You have a swivel here in the shoulder, where it actually connects to the shoulder, but then you also have a ball joint in this part of the shoulder. You have, I guess, two joints? Yeah, you have two joints, mostly because of the transformation. Um, so you have a bicep swivel there, and then an elbow, and then a second elbow. Uh, fists can rotate, nothing in the waist, but the, you have a ball joint in the hip. Thighs swivel 90 degrees at the knee. Uh, ankle can only move because of the transformation. But I really like the look of them. I think the color scheme is great. I think it's a great use of the mold. And just to compare him real quick, here is Hardhead. As you can see, very similar. The mold is pretty much identical, just with some different paint applications. And of course the Titan Master is different. But the cannon's the same, the guns are the same. Oops, he's falling over. The canopies obviously are different colors for the little cockpit. But yeah, like I said, it's a good use of the mold in my opinion. 
I love uh, this color scheme, so it's kind of nice to see Quake come back. And I love the head sculpt. They did a great job with that. So I'll go ahead and get into the transformation. All right, so the transformation is the exact same as Hardhead. I'm going to just do it from memory. It's been a while because Hardhead was the first wave, um, but I'm pretty sure I can remember. So you rotate the fists into the forearms, and then you can kind of collapse this down to make a solid tread, just like that. You're going to come down here and flip the feet in. Then you're going to kind of uh, unpeg this. This pegs into the butt. If I can get it unpegged, there we go. And then this whole section straightens out like this. This comes down and there's a big peg hole here on the side. And there's a big peg right there. It's kind of a joint, but it pegs in. Why are you not doing it? What are you doing to me? There we go. So you peg those in, then this whole section rotates back here at the waist. You bring the legs down and they kind of peg in. Just like that. And then there's a spot on the inside of the thigh. Right there, that pegs into this peg right here. Kind of a longer peg. There we go. It's giving me difficulty for no good reason. Oh, the last bit you have to do, see this waist piece here? This flips, which way does it flip? It flips down, right? Yeah, sorry, I'm not on camera. This waist piece here flips down like that. There you go. Now the treads actually hit on the ground. So there's the tank. You can open up the canopy. Let your little Titan Master sit right in there. Very nice. You can take the other gun if you'd like and put that in here. Double gun tank power. Or if you'd like, you could take this off. This piece actually rotates. You can see this uh, maroon joint. Now you can either rotate it back like this, which I think is what the directions officially show, or you can actually rotate it all the way down it's a little bit harder to do that but you can see just like that I kind of like this just because I think it works a little better and then you can put a second Titan Master in here and then it looks like he's wielding the gun manning the turret I should say so that's cool you can fit two Titan Masters in there fairly easily if you want, you can of course take this completely off because all this is is just a big peg in this little peg hole right here. So, I mean, you could even take this gun and put it in here if you wanted and use this gun somewhere else, like on a leader class base or something like that. So there's a little bit of playability, which I like. But yeah, I mean, it's it really is just the exact same mold from Hardhead, but it's a good mold, so... I'm glad they used it again, and I think Quake was a nice choice. Uh, as you can see in this mode, the maroon stands out a lot more than the gunmetal gray. In robot mode, the gunmetal gray is a lot more prominent, but in this mode, the maroon is a lot more prominent. And I think it looks good. The gray and the, the dark blue and then a little bit of the light blue in the canopy accents the maroon very well, in my opinion. So, I love this tank mode. So I have to say, I think Quake is fantastic. Yes, it's just a repaint, minor retool. And really, it's not a retool. They just put a different headmaster on, <laughs> which they make different headmasters all the time. So it is pretty much just a repaint of Hardhead. But it's a really nice repaint, and I think it's a fun character to choose. It works for this mold. The color, screams, the color, scream? the color scheme is great, and the Titan Master is pretty fantastic as well. So... Yes, it is just a repaint, but it's well done, and I think it's uh, definitely worth picking up. If you can find them, I say go ahead and grab them, because you won't be disappointed, in my opinion. It was a great mold. I'm glad they reused it, and I'm happy to see it again. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share this video. 
Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Deluxe Class Quake from Transformers Titans Return. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.